One of Eric Johnson's trademark tricks is a descending five note pattern down the minor pentatonic scale, but he never really does it ascending. I wonder what that would sound like. <laughs> Kids and welcome to Weekend Wang Shop. Here's your good buddy, Uncle Ben, the most handsome weekly lick lesson series on the internet. Like I mentioned there in the intro, Eric Johnson is really prone to doing descending five note groups through the minor pentatonic scale with a little bit of economy picking like this. But he'll basically never do that lick ascending because if you did it ascending, it would involve doing an upstroke to another upstroke, which is something that a downward pick slanting position does not allow for. So in this week's lesson, I'm gonna show you a cool way that you can get around that. It might be a little bit funky for some of you guys, but other people it might come really, really easily to. If everything I just mentioned about pick slanting and all that jazz makes absolutely no sense to you, be sure to go watch Troy Grady's incredible series, Cracking the Code, right here on YouTube. Uh, he's uncovered all these incredible things about the mechanics and physics of alternate picking that are absolutely astounding and basically a lot of our picking falls into one of two categories downward pick slanting and upwards pick slanting guys like eric johnson and ingvay malsteen are full-time downward pick slanting players some players do a mix of both and uh, this lick if you're playing it the way i'm going to show you today falls into the upward pick slanting category which is necessary anytime that you're doing an upstroke to another upstroke on a lower string but before we tackle this tremendous lick let's hear it again it's stepdad speed and as always, you can find a full tab for this week's lick on my Instagram page. Be sure to look on Instagram for Ben Eller Guitars, find the tab, learn how to play the lick, and then upload a video of yourself shredding through it, along with the hashtag Weekend Wank Shop. So this lick is based around the good old B minor Panasonic scale, it worked really well in a blues or rock context, over a B minor chord preferably would sound really, really good. So for starters, what we're gonna do is begin in the good old seventh position, B minor pentatonic box shape. We're gonna go in depth about the picking here in just a second, but first let's just cover the uh, fretting positions. Your first chunk of five notes goes like this. You're gonna start off with the seventh fret low E string, the 10th fret low E, the seventh fret A, the ninth fret A, and then the seventh fret D. So that's just walking up the scale by five notes. The next group starts off on the 7th fret A string and just walks up the scale 5 notes from there. So you're going to play 7 on the A, 9 on the A, 7 on the D, 9 on the D, and then 7 on the G. So far you should have this. Notice that to go from the 7th fret D, the last note of the first chunk, to the 7th fret A, the first note of the second chunk, you kind of have to roll your index finger here. So whenever you get down to the D string, Right there, don't fret with your fingertip because then you have to jump like this. You want to fret kind of flat on the finger. That way you just roll up to get into the second set like this. See that? Popping and locking rather than jumping like that. Sounds better. So, so far we should have. After this, we're going to hop up and play basically the same stuff an octave up. I'm going to jump up here to the ninth fret D string. I'm going to play a set of five from right here in the scale. I'm going to play 9 and 12, G string 9 and 11, and then the B string 10. Again, that's a five note group. And then you're going to start off on the 9th fret G and play 9 and 11, B string now 10 and 12, high E string 10, and B string 12, ending on B, which would be the root note of the scale or the chord. So let me break them down. First group, second group, third group, fourth group, and then lastly resolving on the root. Now let's get to the really interesting part of this lick, which is the right hand approach, the picking. In order to help me explain this stuff, I'm going to be utilizing the Troy Grady patent pending magnet camera rig here to mount my phone onto the neck of my guitar here so you can get a good bird's eye view of what my right hand is doing. Check it out. So like I mentioned in the intro there, this is an upward pick slanting lick. This means this is completely inverted from Eric Johnson's normal picking approach, which is downward pick slanting. 
Again, for all the info you give on this stuff, watch all of Cracking the Code. It's, it's seriously life-changing stuff. Basically, Eric's usual picking position is more like this, a downward pick slant. This means that his downstrokes kind of go inwards mm -hmm. towards the body of the guitar, and his upstrokes go like this, outside of the face of the guitar, which enables him to do certain things. It enables him to change strings really easily after an upstroke, because the pick is outside of the strings, like that. And it also means that it's easy for him to go from a downstroke to another downstroke. That's why his normal descending fives pattern works so well for his picking. See the double down, 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 down. That's why that works so well for him. Now, if he was trying to play this lick that we're talking about today, he'd have some serious problems because it's going down, up, down, up, down here on the D string. So my pick is stuck in the strings. It's really hard to get back up here to the A string to start the next group out. So in order to combat this, we're going to flip everything completely upside down from Eric's normal picking pattern and procedures here and go into an upward slant position. So do you see how with the downward slant, it's kind of like the pick was at this angle so that the downs go in and the ups go out? Well, with an upward pick slant, everything is completely opposite to that. I feel more of the inside base of my thumb resting up against the body and the strings of the guitar as I get higher on right here, whereas normally with a down slant, I feel more of the edge of my palm. That's me kind of personally and how those two different slants feel different to me. With an upwards pick slant, all of those isms that we talked about with the downward pick slant become reversed. My upstrokes now go into the body of the guitar, see how it touches the pick guard, and my downstroke goes away. So it becomes easy for me to change strings after a downstroke like that. It also means that I can do double ups really easily, which is very great for this lick. So picking wise, here's what you're going to do. You're going to have an upward pick slanting position this entire lick. So again, the pick is going to be slanted about like that. Your mileage may vary. Some people slant less, some people slant more, but whatever you want to do. Just make sure that your upstrokes are going inwards towards the body of the guitar and that your downstrokes are going outwards away from the guitar. Here's a real curveball for a lot of people. This lick will start on an upstroke because we want to leave the string on a downstroke. Again, this is strategy stuff. So you're going to go up, down, up, down, and then up. Now, because you just did an up on the D string, it's going to be really easy to start everything over with an up on the A string. Up, down, up. Same with this change. Up, down, up, down, up. And the last change, up, down, up, down, up, up. So the basic picking pattern is up, down, up, down, up for all the five note sets. Up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up. Just like that. Learning the advantages and disadvantages of both sets of pick slanting styles. So the advantages and disadvantages of downward pick slanting and of upward pick slanting can make your life so much better. Once you understand those basic ideas, you'll know the right way to apply the proper pick slant for whatever it is that you're trying to play. Again, be sure to go watch everything that Troy Grady has to say about this matter on his channel. So there you go, guys. A sick lick to get you guys upward pick slanting like a real bunch of beasts. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also head over to Facebook and like my new Facebook fan page over at facebook.com slash Uncle Ben Eller. And you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Ben Eller Guitars. If you're interested in booking some one-on-one -on -one Skype lessons with me, be sure to drop me an email, benellerguitars at gmail.com. I'll get back with you as fast as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned next week for our bountiful Thanksgiving feast episode. Cheers, you guys.